truly believe that agriculture, and especially animal agriculture, is, is uh, a lifestyle choice. I believe that when people choose to do this, you're not just doing it for dollars and cents. You have a love for the animal, you have a love for outside, you have a love for the environment. And I think the goal always is, is to make that better and pass it on to the next generation. Some of the ways that, that data and technology is being driven the most that relates to our farm would be on a genetic and a, on a repro side, um, in that in order for us to make a better cow, which is a, a, a happier cow of the future, genetics play a part in that. that that's the goal right now, and that we're at a point where we're, we're closer to choosing which animals pass on those genetics and which animals do not. Animal protein is a critical part of our balanced diet and people all around the world will have to access more healthy protein not less for optimal health and nutrition. Genus is really focusing on the future. There is a path to develop animal egg in a more sustainable way and really save it for generations and for our children and grandchildren which is really important. We applying science with a dream that this science will lead to the healthiest, best animal that will be efficient, but most importantly, healthy and uh, uh, provide the milk or meat for population for years to come. That's the most important goal for us. You look at the history of uh, breeding and you, you realize that what, uh, cattle were domesticated about 10,000 years ago. Breeding has been going on for this whole time, but as we've learned more, as science has advanced, we're able to do this in a much more precise manner. And I think that's one of the really huge values of bringing science and technology into the agriculture industry, into the genetics industry. The new breeding technologies give us opportunity to provide those really very valuable traits such as disease tolerance to farmers of all sizes. And uh, it's maybe even more critical for small farmers because if disease happened on their farm, it can eliminate the whole herd and severely impact the livelihood of the family. Ebert Enterprises is a uh, now fifth, sixth, and seventh generation uh, part of this farm. Um, my wife Renee, uh, our kids Jordan and Whitney. So as our family is venturing in taking this product to the consumer, we want we, it was real important for us to design a facility that was um, animal first in the way we handle the animal up till its final harvest, and. Uh, uh, that care definitely comes from growing up uh, with animals and caring for them for the last uh, the last seven generations. The, the animal is the center of the of of the business of the farms. They're the center of the businesses. They're obviously the center of the industry, and and the products that result from them. Right? Uh, if the consumer has a smiling face over a bowl of ice cream or a cold glass of milk, dipping their cookie in it, um, all that stems back to the animal that that made that happen, and that the that this all centers around. And so if we focus our attentions at making um, technology or progress to improve their lives, um, we're gonna result in a more sustainable industry and a more sustainable product. Science and technology are here to help accelerate that process so that we can meet those needs. And it's really gonna accomplish our goal for our producers right now, but it's going to also have a really continued positive impact in the future. It's a pretty cool process. You are designing the instrument around it who can get that measurement and then enrich a population for just those, say, female sperm cells. It's, it's an engineering challenge that's really fun because it brings in a lot of different hard problems to solve. None of this is trivial to do. Um, and and the technology itself it really had to bring all of these things together to make the product. The precision in technology to be able to do that better, more efficiently, safer for the environment and for the people and neighbors surrounding, um, that certainly 
in our works every day and on our mind. One of the near-term technologies that I think is going to have a huge impact on uh, the ag industry and, and the ability to move genetics forward here are on-farm imaging and measurement technologies. How amazing it is what a, a smartwatch can do. Uh, imagine what a camera in a barn can measure about an animal. We've seen uh, a, just a huge influx of technology on dairy farms from uh, activity monitors like cow Fitbits on the animals to feed precision that gets it down to the micro mineral to achieve the cow's optimal performance and then up, up through GPS um, utilization in, in our fields to understand what our best cropping practices should be. The ability to use the advancement in breeding technologies to improve in these areas of social responsibility is truly a game changer for us. It can improve the animal, again, the animal health and welfare components. It can improve and, and likely reduce our use of, of antibiotics. It can also help drive those further efficiencies. Making a cow that can transition feed into milk in a more efficient manner will allow for us to achieve that environmental sustainability as well. We've had the animal health experts in our veterinarian community on board. We've had the feed and the crop uh, experts on board for a long time in this discussion, but genetics has maybe been that last piece of the puzzle that we've been missing. And for Genus to come proactively and say, hey, we're here to help you as an organization is something that we are just exceptionally appreciative of, of Genus and their industry leading venture in this space. I think we're gonna see more capabilities for measuring the environmental impact of animals and being able to directly influence that through the genomic uh, set of that animal. I think we're also really at that sort of data tipping point for enabling farmers to do so much more uh, with managing their herds, managing their animals to improve their welfare and uh, efficiency throughout. As a company, we enable them to fulfill those dreams and to achieve the goals that they have. And when we're talking to farmers, they also want more science. They want to bring technologies to their farms because, again, they're the ones who really invested in making our whole food chain sustainable and healthy.